the governor's wife is a member of this association. The deputy governor is a member of this association. We have five city commissioners that are members of this association. And River State has the highest number of executives in this association. So why would you give them our support? There is much more to do. We are doing the underground work. We are not politicians. Uh, we are peace advocates. Our work is to go door to door and let people know that peace is important for your market, for your business, for your work, for everything to work out. You need peace. That we keep doing. We ask, we ask that the governor appreciates our message and be rest assured that many more people are ready to do this for him. Hello family, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your favorite lady, Michelle from the L Housing Real Estate Consulting Firm here in the city of Port Harcourt. Yes, yeah, so today the 21st of September is the International Day of Peace and we had a road work with the Association of World Peace Advocates. It was beautiful. Guys, I want you to sit down, grab a box of popcorn and enjoy this. Association of World Peace Advocates. Our association, International Association of World Peace Advocates, is affiliated with the United Nations. Our primary purpose here today is in commemoration of the International Day of Peace, September 21st, 2024. And this theme for this year is cultivating the culture of peace. We have notified the governor through our letter that we would be undertaking a road work to mark peace because we want to let people know that the answer to every solution is peace. And we also want, we are also identifying with the governor because he is the best governor as far as peace is concerned in the world, not yeah. Nigeria. Yeah. 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 His tolerance yeah. level yeah. is too much. Anybody with his capacity would have taken powers into his hands and caused situations that would cause unrest and affect the citizen. But it's not like that. He's saying, let us maintain peace. Whether justice is done or not, let us maintain peace. We have been undertaking peace mission from the grassroots level to the international level. Right now, as we are commemorating here in River State, across different parts of the world, as far as you are you and affiliated and this in this association, they are commemorating their peace. But we decided to do road work so that people will see us. We have our handkerchiefs we are giving to people. What does that mean? Peace. We are sharing this. Please maintain peace in these states. We need peace to survive. Peace causes development. Peace allows for growth. Peace allows for every good thing the citizens will want from this present governor, uh, Simpubara. So we have come here to tell him that we are pledging our support and we keep supporting him. And we are urging him to keep maintaining peace. Peace will always travel in any aspect. It might take time, but peace is sure for River State. Yes. There's going to be um, an event coming up in October 5th, like you said. We are still going to uh, ensure that we promote peace by dialoguing with people, interfacing with them, hearing their problems and offering solutions that will give us a lasting peace in this state. This state is the best. Why? Because the governor is a man of peace. So every other person should emulate their leader, the River State governor who is interested only in the peace of the people. One of the best messages that we can receive at this time. Thank you, sir. People that are strengthening peace. Yes, sir. Madam, thank you for also identifying with the governor and identifying the special qualities of the governor. Like you said, he has the capacity, but he refuses to fight back. I want to identify that phenomenon. Now, it's not easy for you to have some strength inside you. And someone comes to slap you and the slap. But you say, no, I won't do that. That shows innermost strength. And that's a very important ingredient for peace. Our governor possesses it in exceeding volume. I want to thank you for marking today the International Day for Peace. We need to preach peace to all corners of our states. We need to preach peace in our families, in our kids, especially in this season that we find ourselves as River State and as Nigerians. I want to thank you for this message. We are going to relay your solidarity message to His Excellency. And I can assure you that 
they will continue to act their way that we breed peace in the states. And at the end of the day, we will all be beneficiaries of the outcome of that peace. And God bless all of you. If you are a lover of peace, then you will love this video. So share it, let's promote peace together and give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. My name is Michelle.